Welcome to Hello Baltimore County. I'm your host, Ellen Kobler. Let's take a moment to catch up on some of the good news from Baltimore County government. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz announced $1.6 million in loans to 15 small, minority, and veteran-owned businesses. Boost fund loans support diverse companies as they grow and add jobs, expand facilities, and invest in new equipment. These employers are located throughout the area, including Towson, Randallstown, Rosedale, Essex, and Dundalk. More sweet news on the job front. The makers of Mary Sue, Naron, and Globbers Candies have begun construction of a new $8 million headquarters and manufacturing plant in Middle River. Ruxton Chocolates is consolidating three locations into a 100,000 square foot facility at Baltimore Crossroads at 95, a thousand acre economic engine along Maryland Route 43, White Marsh Boulevard. And finally, a new study was released to measure the economic impact of developing 3,100 acres at Sparrows Point as a global logistics, manufacturing, and commerce hub. Conducted by Sage Policy Group for Trade Point Atlantic, the study sees the industrial development in eastern Baltimore County creating nearly 17,000 direct and indirect jobs in the Baltimore region with approximately $3 billion in total economic impact. This exceeds Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz's original estimates and validates Trade Point Atlantic's potential as a dynamic economic driver for the entire Baltimore region. You can get real-time news updates like these right on the Baltimore County website and by connecting with Baltimore County government on Facebook and Twitter. We'll be right back.